Lord, we love you this day. We thank you, Lord, for your presence. Praise you, Lord. We honor you today for your touch in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Thank you, Lord, and the things that you're moving that we don't even know about. God, the things you've shielded us from, the things you've kept us from. Lord, we praise you today. We honor you. Touch us in this house. Let your will be done. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, 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 amen. Hold that one. Touching Jesus is all that really matters. Then your life will never be the same. And there is only one way to touch Him. Just believe when you call on His name. Come on, somebody reach out to Him this morning. Oh, touching Jesus is all that really matters. And then your life will never be the same oh there is only one way to touch him oh just believe when you call on his name I feel the presence of the Holy Spirit in this house this morning I'm ready to preach, but I don't want to move any quicker than he moves. He's in this place. Listen, God is moving by his spirit. He's touched us in these last three weeks, but he's done things in this congregation even this week. He's touched in some families. He's moved in some situations. Now, you can sit there and you can stare at me, or you can worship the King of kings and the Lord of lords. I'm not being rude. I'm not being hateful. But, folks, it, it's time that we reach out. We, we've got to quit using God as a spare tire syndrome, and then when we want Him, we run to the church. But while we're in His presence, we need to entertain His presence. Amen? Amen. Come on. Let's sing it one more time. Can we do it? Oh, touching Jesus. Sing it. Is all. Then your life. Then your life.
There is nothing too big and there is nothing too great that I cannot do. There is no mountain too big that I cannot move. I am your God. I am the God that healed you. I am the God that has sustained you. I am the God that has been faithful to you through the thick and through the thin. When you have walked away from me, I have still been there. When you have turned away from me, I have still been there. When you have refused to pray to me, when you have refused to call upon my name when you have refused to acknowledge me and serve me I have still been there I have never left I will never leave I will never forsake because today I come to tell you you are mine and I am yours and I love you I love you and I want what's best for you today if you will surrender and give yourself to me Thank you, Jesus. This is the time. The presence of the Lord is in this place. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come unto Jesus. Give him your life today. Spirit of God is speaking to hearts in this place. The Spirit of God is speaking to people. The Spirit of God is wanting to do something in some places, in some homes at this moment. I, I'm going to say this, and I, I'm not going to give a specific. We're going to do this because I really feel that in this house today, there are some families that need to pray together. There are some needs that you've been praying for, and you're asking God to move and to intervene in. And this is the time. If I can have just a moment here, just a moment. This, this is the time. The Spirit of God is in this place. And, and we, can't, we can't let this moment pass us by. And, and, and just like in Mark chapter 9 where the man had the boy that needed healing, sometimes we have to intercede on behalf of another. This is the time. There's some hearts in this congregation today that need to grow closer to God there's some hearts that need to give praise unto God for what he's done the water is troubled church Jesus said my father's house shall be a house of prayer it's not a house of music it's not a house of preaching we need those things this is a house of prayer I'm going to ask everyone that would right now would you come would you find yourself a place to pray? Come quickly. The Spirit of the Lord is in this place. I know some have already come, but come. Intercede. Pray together. Bring your family. The Lord is in this house. Lord, have your way. Be glorified today. Touch us, Lord. Come unto Jesus. Come unto Him. He's calling. to Jesus. He's calling. Give him He's your calling. life today. He's calling. Come 
touch us, Lord. To Jesus, touch us, Lord. Let him have his way. So you think there are things in your life, things that he can't forgive, but he'll forgive.
Lord is good. He is faithful. I don't know about you, but I need this as much as you or anybody else needs this. To feel his presence and to be in his presence. I appreciate the worship of this church. I do. I thank God for you. And as I concluded Wednesday night, as after Brother Tim preached, I truly believe, and I already quoted from Mark chapter 9, but that man was told that if you can believe, all things are possible to him that believes in Mark 9, 23. I believe it's in Mark 9, 24 where he says, I believe, but help thou my unbelief. I'm thankful for the things God has done. I'm grateful for the things I see God doing. But I know in my heart that I should be believing for so much more. I believe that. And when I say I believe in my heart that I should be believing for so much more, I believe we should be be believing for so much more and trusting God for more. Because church, I will say this. We are living in an unusual time. We have come through an unusual time. And not to capitalize on that, but in the time in which we live right now, we're seeing things that are debated that were never even questioned before. And I'm talking about common things. Things that were definites that now have become subjective. And if there's ever a time a church needs to pray, it's now. And even more so. But I'm believing God for so much more. Thank you, Father, for your touch. Thank you for your goodness and thank you for your mercy. Lord Jesus, as we depart this place, I pray that we do not depart your presence. God, today there may be some here that don't understand the difference between human order and divine order. But Lord, we believe in divine order. And I thank you, Lord, for divinely showing yourself and manifesting yourself to people today. Opening our hearts. Lord, that we've had time to commune with you and to pray. And to pray as a corporate body. 
Lord, I'm believing you for so much more. I'm believing God for prayers to be answered. For those things that are in accordance with your will that we trust and we believe and that they shall be done. And if any two agree is touching one thing, that it shall be done. God, that we come into agreement today. I just pray, Father, that you would direct us and lead us. Touch your people. We give you thanks. We give you praise. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.